I hope that rule about not talking about vagina didn't ruin Luke's roast. <laughs> what? Oh, well, okay. Uh, oh yeah, okay, this is what I want to talk about. Now I'm going to get to the core of it all. When I first befriended Kathy a few years ago, I couldn't believe that there was this punk rock, Exine Servenga like Silver Lake conservative that was living in Silver Lake. And I was like, she was like a kindred spirit to me. But when I was brought into her world, and it's kind of impossible to become friends with her and not to be brought into her world, um, I noticed how diverse it was. It was like, it was, it was, Okay. <laughs> it's it's an unbelievably di diverse world. It's 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 multicultural. And it's an equal mix of men and women, believers and non-believers. Uh, most importantly, it's a, a genuine diversity of ideas. Um, it's a diversity that can be best rep best represented um, in a symbol in Luke Thompson's head. I actually said that joke in honor of his former rainbow head of hair, and he's sort of become my mortal enemy on this planet. And then I came here and I walked in, and I thought it was my best joke, because he usually kind of stands out in a room of rainbow hair. And then I see that he, he, he died it for the occasion, because he obviously got into my computer and fucking ruined it. <laughs> anyway. I don't mean to make it seem like Kathy is a super sweet angelic lady who, who gets along with anyone. Uh, that would be awful. What makes Kathy so great is that she's both a uniter and a divider. <laughs> and like any good divider, she knows how to pick a good enemy. The Democratic Party, Al-Qaeda, Hezbollah, and Nikki Fink. <laughs> <laughs> if I could end this discussion, this talk, this roast on, on constructive criticism, uh -huh. um, it strikes me that Kathy doesn't conduct uh, robust FBI background checks on her friends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what other sane mother of a teen daughter would allow in her life a man who bills himself as the Matt Drudge of porn. <laughs> anyway, I love Kathy. I'm going to end on that note. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Andrew. I just want to ask, are there any Democrats in the House today? Oh. Oh. We, about 50% check it out, Andrew. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, they're many problematic. Okay. <laughs> Wig. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'm sure. We have, yeah, and self identified and everything else. Um, speaking of self identified, our next speaker is um, unembarrassable, <laughs> which uh, is actually in the uh, you know, wheel, the Freudian uh, personality disorder wheel. Um, so let me just introduce Luke Ford. <laughs> Uh, fell in love with uh, Kathy through reading her columns in Buzz Magazine, and uh, they were just outrageous, as my critics would say as well. And I didn't realize that press criticism could be so much fun. It always seemed rather dowdy. And I felt like she was a kindred spirit, but I didn't have enough confidence in myself to uh, write her a letter or do anything about it. Uh, I waited for a quarter of my life to go by. And uh, finally sent her an email in uh, about 2001. And uh, finally met her thanks to Emmanuel and Amy Alcon's uh, late press club parties. And uh, I was in a bar in Hollywood. And I, I'm really in bars. And, <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Except when I'm working. <laughs> and I ran into Emmanuel Richard. And she said, why don't you interview Kathy Seid? We were at lunch the other day, and we were talking about your journalist interviews, and she said, well, I'm at least as interesting as Ross Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I emailed Kathy and asked her for an interview, and uh, she canvasses her friends to whether or not she should give me an interview. Most of them advised her not to do it, uh, including a lot of people here. And, uh, but she decided she would give me an interview, but she would never let me know where she lived. <laughs> and uh, so after she gave me an interview and her publisher went on my site, um, her daughter started emailing saying, hey, why don't you write more about my mother? <laughs> and so I just kept interviewing. I interviewed about 20 people about Kathy. And her daughter was the most excited about it of anyone. And, and Maya started a blog. And she made her mother start a blog. And that's why we're here today. Thanks. Video. <coughs> Hello, I am Nikki Fink's attorney, and I think some of the things Kathy Sipes says are legally actionable. I, I mean, Nikki is not semi-sane. She is fully sane, and she's not fat in the least. I, I, I agree. Nikki Fink is wonderful, and I, R R Ricky Pink, certainly do think so. Yes, and I do too as her attorney, and everyone agrees with us. Isn't it obvious? Yes, I mean, <clears throat> there's two people here who think that Nikki Fink is the most wonderful person in the world. Oh, your voice is sounding a little bit like mine. Better fix that. <clears throat> I'm sorry. We love Nikki Fink and we hate Kathy Sipe, so there, everyone agrees with us! Damn it! <laughs> and now a man who needs no introduction, Luke Thompson. All right, thanks everybody. <laughs> and I'd like to th thank you so much for hosting Rob Long, or as the ladies call you, Rob Short. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not tall, don't rub it in. He's not as tall as me. You know, Rob Long, as we all know, because Kathy's told us a million times, used to work on Cheers. You know, that show set in the bar where no one gets drunk. 